Hey guys, Jen Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. Last time we did the second of the things. That's interesting, we're about 25% of the way through the game. Uh, it's going to speed up though as we get more stuff, at least potentially. Right, so what I wanted to do, um, we actually found a bunch of stuff. We started to find this, the desecrated cistern, we found the what to do with the bones, we found a little teleporter. I want to go up and get the last of that stuff from this. Should I... Hmm. I wonder if I should take away this marker. Maybe not, because you might need to go back there for whatever reason, so let's... But anyway, I need to purchase the rest of her stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I wanted to know what the deal with her is. I feel kind of bad about it. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm aging, but, you know, helping you is important. And I'm like, well, that makes me feel like crap now. Noise. Oh, you can just... Stand here and whack him, huh? That's cool. Your reach is pretty long. I'll take it. Ow! Son of biscuits. Well, if I could, like, do a dual execution, I mean, I don't... Wow, that dude's taking some damage. Well, we'll use one of our holy flasks. Ah. Ah. Here's another, another one. Man, that, that's like the mo- Oh, and he tosses his head aside at the end. That's like even more brutal. Oh, that's how this works. Wait. Oh, I guess. Sold. All right, next question is, do we want to head back to no map available here? Yep. All right. Great fervor. Do you want to buy? Yeah. Hollow Pearl. I want to buy everything, dude. What is she going to say now? Yep. All right. Um, yeah. So... I mean, I could run all the way back here, and maybe I should. I presumably could run down here, teleport to here, go up here. Um, although I think in this case, you have to go around like that. But this would be where the toxin is, potentially. I could see if that works. I mean, getting from where I am now to up there is not the worst thing in the world and might be worth it. But then again, we'll just, I mean, we could see, we'll just maybe go through here. I don't know. Then again, having an extra flask to heal us with is pretty good. Um, and we could check out this area as well. Um, Well, first, let's check out this. Okay. Creates fervor when destroying surrounding object, which is good. Uh, 
It has got to him, brother. The miracle is within these walls, said the friar, scared. Grab that piece of wood and help me block his cell, answered the other friar, younger than him. And while they both parted slowly, listening to the screams and banging through the massive wooden door, a small, round object rolled from under it. Which is this, the hollow pearl. How do I... Man, I feel like there's so much still. Like, we haven't found any of these relics, all these quest items. Hmm. Thorns from the miracle feed on sin and guilt. Interesting. Well, that makes sense, because that show it grows on our life, right? Uh, the bridal ribbon, I don't know what to do with this. The cloth. Rosary rope. Yeah, I feel like we're going to find a dude, kind of like the Quicksilver guy, that will, um... We're going to find someone that will use these to give us more rosary things. All right. Okay. Well then, let us... Yeah, that was the blue candle, right? Even the music does sound kind of Spanish a little bit. All right, what I You think there's an achievement for like destroy a hundred objects or something like that? I kind of hope not, but part of me kind of hopes for it as well. I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna basically go... Yeah, I know. I know. Man, maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go... Well, no, because... I mean, you could go up here and go over in that way. Let's do that. Uh, right. Rather than fighting our way through, it'll be faster to... Oh, interesting. There's a ledge hanging off of it. You can't grab the ledge. Or maybe it's just because the stairs are right there. Wasteland of the Buried Churches. There's still... Well, okay. Interesting. Right, somewhere the third humiliation is, right? And then, uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's go left. Good job. Oh, well... That was not my intent. I'm not even sure why... Why, I'm, why I hit that button, but, um, you know. Noise. Yeah, one of the achievements I got was, like, execute five enemies. That's kind of cool. Alright, which way? Up. Oh. Right. On the plus side, it looks like it doesn't knock you off the ledge. You know, if that makes any sense. Doesn't knock you off the ledge when you block. Uh, Alright, 
all the way. Just... Poor guys, but maybe I'm doing them a favor. It actually looks like you can interrupt your combos with... when you parry. Oh, and you can see all the... There's more of those people on poles in the background, too. This wasn't open before, was it? Oh! No, not yet. Let's go in here first. Make a donation. Oh. Hmm. What's the max? I bet it's, yeah. I bet if you download or download, donate like 10,000 or something. Can we do like 500 for now? I bet something happens if you donate enough. But yeah, let's uh give remains of Tentudia's hair, sure. Esta pobre zagala. This poor lass. Numerosas lágrimas cayeron en su beato nombre. Many tears were shed in her blessed name. Mil plegarias no aclaran si el milagro doloroso es o no. Una manifestación de la verdadera santidad. A thousand prayers do not clarify whether or not the grievous miracle is a manifestation of true holiness. Sin embargo, en nuestro corazón no hay duda de que ella fue injustamente castigada. Still, in our heart lieth no doubt that she was unjustly punished. Encontrar los siguientes restos. La orden nos bendice. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. Tears of Atonement. Okay, and we got about 500 from that. Alright. Cool. So that's... That's good to know. And these are quest items, right? Fair enough. Um... Right, we're going straight north. <sighs> so I've been playing this game, uh, Raft. And at first... At first I was like, this is it? This is gonna suck. And now I'm starting to get into it. Um, but it is definitely different than Subnautica. Uh... Oh, you jerk. It is definitely different than Subnautica. It's a lot more, um, less, less agency. Um, I mean, we'll see how it is at the end, but Subnautica, the first one at least, had a really strong, um, gameplay loop. First thing I'm gonna do is go down here and, and hit that thing up. You know, so, so Subnautica's resource gathering was tied into the core gameplay loop.
and it, it basically put you in charge of going out to get those resources, whereas, um, whereas in Raft, it's a little bit more... While you're at sea, it's... You're kind of waiting for it to come to you. It's... Oh, crap. Well, actually, that might be alright. Ooh, baby. Well, I wanted to get up to the top there and... Okay. I need to know, like, how... Okay, that's that's all right. Oh, you and your... Yeah, we'll use, use one of those. Oh, wait. Wait, can I not... Well, that's not cool. Wasn't paying attention to my life. Let's hope I can actually go that. No, no, you can't. I think you have to go to the bottom and then slide through. Yeah, but Raft is, Raft is starting to, um, oh, this is the wrong way. Raft is starting to grow on me. It was, um... At first, I couldn't figure out what to do. I I didn't realize... There's, like, this... One of the first things you can build is this... Is this, uh... This research table. That's kind of the... How you develop your tech. I couldn't figure out what you were supposed to do with it at first, because I'm like... I find these blueprints and I'm like, I'm putting them in there. It says research already. I put food in and it says you can't research it. I'm like, what, what the hell am I supposed to do? Turns out you're supposed to... Let's not get hit. Stuff that you're already... What tripped me up is... um. Stuff that you're already able to build with is is what you're supposed to put in there. Like, um, that's fine. No, oh, okay, that's why I'm hitting that button to like recover, but it. I I really would hope you don't do a down plunge bef right in there. But yeah, I was thinking you didn't since you could already use your your basic supplies like your basic building materials to to build with. You don't need to put them into the research table and and research them. But that's what you use to develop future tech, basically. Refill empty exchange for 750. It seems like it's more this time, because I think it was 500 the first time, so we'll say yes. But I mean, yeah, it's, you know, of course. There we go. Awesome. Okay, no. 
Um, well. Um, I mean, I guess we go, we try and go back up and go around and go down again? Or, or I guess we could just go down and down and down and then... What happens if we do this? That is definitely a faster way to kill those guys. That is also a faster way to die. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let that go. All right, so let's go down here, and we'll we'll try going over and see. All right, first thing. Oh, you can see where it's not touching you. Okay. I think it does the same amount of damage. <clears throat> it's just now we have a higher life bar. So, I guess we could, um, gain fervor when destroying objects. Eh, eh that's fine. About half? I don't know if that's enough to um, be able to get through that, but we'll we'll try. We're gonna have to run. We're gonna have to jump over that frickin' enemy. Right, because we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Um... I see. Mea culpa hearts, right? Heart of saltpeter blood. What does that do? Attack damage is increased when the penitent one is close to death. Well... It wasn't long before he was beatified. I don't know what that means. Let's look it up. These guys have a thesaurus. I assume it means, well, sainted, maybe? Beatified. Announce the beatification of. That doesn't help me. Uh, synonyms, canonize, bless, sanctify, hallow, consecrate, make holy, make sacred. Is it like sainting? What is the meaning of beatification? The second of three stages in the process of canonization. In beatification, a deceased person is declared blessed and worthy of limited public veneration. Responsibility for beatification was assigned to the Rome, Roman Curia under Pope Sixtus V in the late 1500s. Is a beatified person a saint? Ah, okay. Second stage in the process of proclaiming a person a saint. Got it. Canonization and I guess saint saintendom is maybe the same thing? I don't I don't know. Uh, it's just what Google says. Okay. The miracle bestowed a gift upon that humble parish priest and confessor the visions of all sin, future and past, of thought and deed of every person who approached him. He did not need to hear our confessions because he already knew them all. He knew the penance. He knew the sincerity of our repentance. He knew everything. There was no more intimacy between sins and sinners. We were all naked before him and the miracle. Such grace came to be feared. He asked us to cover his head with a thick burlap cloth in order to try and stop his constant visions of sin and beg us to take him far, far away. Yeah, that's, uh, it's gotta be rough. Also, we're probably gonna die getting back through here. 
Oh. Oh, and you have to slide under this. Oh! So close. Well, that one we can actually get our guilt back. Still, that was worth it. Yeah. Actually, that's not so bad. Alright, so... Now that we've... gotten that thing... Um... And would you want to... Does more attack before death? Nah, it's okay. Alright, so we're gonna go up here and over here. Oh, I guess I didn't try hitting the wall. Or did I? I don't remember. Either way, I'm not going back through there, so... At least not anytime soon. All right, then we want to go up and see what's... All right. All right. How far does that go? I don't know, but it's a ways. Oh, and it looks like s you almost might be able to slide under it. That's interesting. Alright. Interesting, it did not hit me just yet there. Well. Piece of a golden mask. Ouch. Wait. Oh. Yeah, because I blocked it, but it... I touched it. Or it landed where I touched it. Alright, piece of a golden mask. Piece of embossed gold. Part of a mask broken years ago. The nuns of the convent of the charred visage swear never to let the world see their burned faces. There you go. And the conviction of its old wearer has permeated the metal. Grants some protection against flames. Awesome. Number two. The years passed and she started showing natural signs of aging, just like her companions, except for the burn, which remained as fresh as the moment the boiling oil had spilled. The wound was still smoking, scorching, and reeking. This was understood to be a miracle, and she was canonized in life by the church. Canonized in life? She became known as Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Right, this is the one that burned herself uh, because she was declared divine or whatever. Um, I assume. Maybe not. An order was founded in her name where all the existing nuns as well as those who wanted to take up the habit had to burn their faces in the same way as Aurea had. She wears a golden mask under which she hides the gauze that alleviates the eternal pain that the burns still inflict on her. Um, where it was... Um, no. Did I... did I miss it? No. Gracia. Santo Credo. Santo Credo. Interesting that this is the first one and this is the third one, right? So Charred Visage is probably the... one we're supposed to do last, I guess? Um... Huh. Where...
Where was the first verse? Am I, um... I don't know. It's annoying, though, because I wanted to... Well, whatever. Anyway. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go see if we can... I don't know why I did that. That's... Right, over and, and up. is in that thing. Okay, let's... Interesting that it takes... Hmm. Well, while I'm executing, it doesn't, uh... Yeah, and the thorns go away a little bit. Strange. Well, cool though, you know. All right, now. I guess now we want to go down here, right? Can we just teleport there? Would that be faster? I'd probably be faster. Let's. Hit up the, uh... Release our guilt on the way, and then, um... Undo that. We'll say, uh... Yeah, sure. Every little bit helps. Give it a second. Oh, yes. That was a good one. That was a good little hit. Man, that thing is so great. What about this? Still nothing? I feel like these bloody footprints right here mean something. That's a clue of some kind. Ugh. All right. And then, um... Yeah, let's alleviate our guilt. For 300? Sure. Guilt has been expiated. I wonder what this dude looks like under the mask. I realize that's a weird question. But is there... Is it just blood? Like, is he breathing air? You know what I mean? Okay. Straight to the left. Oh, yes. You could do it uphill, which is nice. We'll just tag this one just in case. Ah, and of course it was a was a boss room. S hmm. So what's the deal with the demons then?
desecrated cistern. Alright, we're at two. I mean, well, left is the only place we can go. Yeah, I haven't seen those dudes in a minute. Not since the very beginning. Oh, well, that was dumb. Clever, though. Whoa. Oh, there's something up there that we gotta get. Why did I do that? That hurts a lot, actually. But also, I'm a dummy, apparently. All right, Scaphoid of Fierce the Leper. Rejected by his family, his village, and even by other lepers, Fierce only found solace in the echo that his voice returned to him when he took refuge in the tunnels of the Desecrated Cistern. Um, well, we'll see where these go. Hmm. Noise. You still have six swords in you, though. Aren't you supposed to have one less now? Now that I took one? Take the next of my deep pains. Maximum health increased. Yeah, it's all about penance, right? You do take suffering upon yourself and it makes you stronger. Which, I mean, there is some truth to that. Oh, yeah. Now they'll be alive. For a second, I wondered why the blue didn't fill up, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. So is there... Yeah, okay. Oh, right. And those guys do. These guys do not. They never really die. Okay. So what you want to do is, well, not that. Noise. Seven out of 38. I don't know. Who is this guy? What does ringing the bell do? I bet he's the dude that keeps those guys coming, right? All right, so this goes up. I guess we'll let's go to the left first. We'll see what. Uh... Ouch. Was being a little too eager there, I suppose. Right, okay, how, well, I, I don't want to do that just yet. Mmm, too aggressive. Um, 
do I want to put like a poison thing or I don't know I'll just take the marker away it'll be alright or it won't be you know or it won't be suppose if you insist I was if you suppose that doesn't make sense that's right hmm nice yeah that gives you a lot of fervor I don't know what this does. I mean, obviously it opens the gate, but... Oh. Fair. What's up, girl? And we've gotten everything from her, right? This one? This time? Yes. Yeah, those were cheap, relatively. I mean, compared to the other ones, yeah. Okay, next up. Guess we'll see where this goes. Fair. Right, and of course... If you insist. Yeah, don't, um... Whoa. So, well, I mean, there's that dude, but... Wow, that's a dick move. like well let's go this way because it looks like I'm gonna get closer to humorous of McMittens the nurse A nurse and cat lover, McMitten saved countless lives, human and others. Unable to bear saving those who showed up, who showed no respect for life, he put an end to his own. Yeah, you could just not save lives, though. Oh, we can go up and open this way. There we go. Noise. I need to find a rosary bead that lets me, like, fills up life or something like that. Alright, so that's unlocked. That's good. This way probably goes over here. Um, and this way goes somewhere else. Do we want to, uh... Hmm. <coughs> At least it doesn't kill us when we fall to go faster, you know? Right, my my body was like 
just the open space, I was like, traps. Where are the traps? Oh, but these guys are giving us stuff, so that means they are probably not respawning. You know what I mean. So that way is clear. I don't... Hmm. What's the deal with this? How is there like a, a thing going down? It's very strange. Alright. Oop, that's the wrong thing. This goes down. Is that what we want to do? I don't know. I haven't found a save point in here yet, except for that one. So maybe, I don't know. I expected that. Right on. Excellent. Anoint yourself with the oil of pilgrims, yes. Max amount of fervor has been increased. Bueno. Bueno. door right here. Eh, we'll see where it leads. Why not? Oh, interesting gas or poison in the, uh... Well, that is kind of... Huh. Well, alright. Oh. Okay. <coughs> wow, excuse me. Okay, this, uh, yeah, if you screw up in here, this is bad. Well, and there's the... Yep, well, ouch, and I bet I took a lot of damage from that one. Because I wasn't wearing the thing. Uh, okay, yep, kind of like that. Kind of jump, 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 clap. Why are you not grabbing the ladder? I'm like holding up and I'm hitting A and it's like... Oh, wow, yeah, how far back are we? Quite a ways. All right, well, all right. It's fair. Let's see if we can get back there. Um, I mean, maybe we can keep exploring. We can explore more of this. Also, probably benefit us to maybe equip that toxin thing. Because there seems to be a fair amount of toxin in here. Just saying. Alright. Very confusing, though. Did we go up already? Yes, we did. Ow. Does that count as magical damage? Um. I don't know, actually.
The number of the beasts achievement unlocked. Does that kill a certain number of enemies? All right, what, uh, hmm. Where does where's this go? This is gas, right? Yeah, let's not, let's not do that right now. Yeah, I don't need to, I don't really need to go. Uh, maybe I should though. Oh, wait, did you hit me? Is that what happened? Yeah, see, the other guy goes away. Let's just take him out in case we have to go back through this area. Um... I love how he just, like, smashes a vial across his face. That's... that's wonderful. Okay, well... My timing is poor. That was not great. Although, actually, this would probably be a good... Oh, killing those does give, uh, give fervor, though. So there's that. Like, this would be a good use of the... Of that one spell. Okay. Trap. Empty bile vessel. Hell yeah. Empty bile vessels are awesome. Totally worth it. Oh, right on. That's cool. Allow me to demonstrate by... Screwing up. <laughs> um, I see. I see how this is. Yeah, it's like... You basically... You slide under. Well, I mean, but, okay, why? Just for the map completion, I guess? It gives you a lot. I mean, you know, the map completion is good. I'm really into that if I'm if I'm being honest. Uh right. I mean, we have a ways to go. We could go down. What does down do? There is something. Let's wait. Patience, young one. I see. Well, okay. But... But F me, I can't get it. Can't jump out of this stupid mud. Maybe that's why I died, because I couldn't get high enough to... Uh...
Nice. We'll take it. Refill biliary vent. Blah, 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 for 900. Yes. Bam. And it healed me. Healed me, filled all my vessels, and activated the... Uh, we want to go to the right. Yeah, yeah, we do. If I had to guess, I would say the boss is probably going to be over here, but we'll see. See, this is also the question, like, how do you get up there if you can't jump? Oh, very. Okay, well. All right, so we'll say... Cherub. Because you figure out how to get the cherub, you'll figure out how to get the chest. Maybe. There's probably something really dumb that I'm missing. But if I can figure it out, then I can get, um, if I can get this, then I can get this down here too, so, you know. It is time to stop, but I... Ah, oh, you. And by you, I mean myself, because I'm... It's not important that I do the execution on them. And that looks suspicious, doesn't it? Oh well. Okay, my guilt is right there. And we still need to go up. Ah! Oh, okay, well... Yes. Black Grieving Veil. Uh, let's see. Dark cloth that has kept its silky feel despite the passing of the years. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Okay, so this is like the, um... Like this. So there's gonna be a person that collects these as well. No one knows what they asked for in that prayer, nor why they didn't want to be wedded. The miracle, with all its grievous plans, went to the aid of the sisters, if you can call that aid. Okay, well, we need to, um... Hmm. I mean, I guess we could go... back up here. Because we need to... we need to stop.
slime young man or whoever you know old man doesn't matter are you a demon almost just ran through the dude Okay, and then... Oh, I never did go to the left. Mountains of the Endless Dusk. Well, okay. Um, the Bronze Frontier. It's a different, different zone. That's fine. Right, due north. All right, we are here. Near safe point is... No. I was like, no, that's not right. Glad it doesn't just attack them, because that would be that would be a real pain in the ass. And what's uh oh I could do something with this now. Well we'll do something with it next time. And there is a chimney sweep in the background. What uh was that dude there before? Well, anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, what is your unique positive moment for today? For me, it's actually the game Raft, um, or at least that I'm enjoying it now. I was kind of worried. I was like, I was like, I see all these positive reviews, but for me, it's not really clicking, but it finally is after like four hours. So, um, so that's good. Uh, but that's my unique pause moment. Hopefully you guys are just a good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys. Take care.